G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got, my biggest project yet. A three tier cake stand I'm gonna to attempt to do. So very exciting. This is a 20 centimeter round, 25 centimeter and 30 centimeter. So eight inch, um, 10, 12 inch I think that's what it is um, I'm using my new resin today U resin that's a two-part it's U resin cast so I weighed because I haven't used it before I weighed it out on well I measured it out on a scale so I put it into this measuring cup I measured 100 grams and um, the small bottle weighs 100 grams. The big bottle weighs 110 grams. So now all I have to do is weigh it and I'm right. I've actually got just under 1300 grams of uh, re resin here. And I'm gonna do, you saw that little coaster that I did my practice on. So blues, turquoise and gold. I have added a little bit of cast and craft white and some pigment paste turquoise blue as i go through and i'll talk to you about the colors but um we'll get started this resin i must tell you this resin has um where is it they sent me this sheet with it which is fantastic it is um food well it's heat resistant to 110 degrees 230 degrees fahrenheit when it's cured so you can put a nice hot cupper on it not that you would on a cake stand but if you're doing coasters um, it tells you here you've got a 50 to 55 minute working time um, depends on the on the you know the temperature of your room obviously but I shouldn't be more than say well hopefully I shouldn't be more than 40 minutes I'll get a wriggle on okay so I'm gonna start with the Navy it is art tree creations deep as you write so that's that one and I'm going to put a little bit around the outside of each of these. Hopefully I won't knock these over. I didn't know where to put them. Just a little bit. Obviously the, the bigger rounds will need a little bit more. It really annoys me like when people do these and they put the same amount around the bigger ones as they do the smaller ones well obviously it needs more because it's bigger hey it's going to go around hopefully i've got enough i didn't make up too much because i know that this navy blue is quite strong whoa I'm knocking over things it's quite strong so i didn't want to make up too too much when I did my little coaster um, test um, yeah it, it really took over didn't it did you guys see that now I'm sorry if this is going to be a bit of a longer video but I can't stop start stop start um, because I don't want to take my gloves off every time to like pause my camera so bear with me I'm doing this for me for some fun and you know you guys are most welcome to watch but um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to be, you know, rushing through it. I want to try and enjoy the process. So that's my navy gone. And I'm going to push it into the little sides there. Uh, make sure it's all pushed in. Just so that we get an even pattern once I start doing my little puddles. So the next thing I think I will do... I really don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna wipe these, each of these, so I can use them again. I'm just gonna get a, a paper towel here. I'm just gonna wipe them and then I can put them aside and I can use them again. Um, now, I wasn't sure if I should put my, hmm, I don't know. I'll, I'll just put a puddle of gold. Actually, let's not do a puddle. Let's just do a little ring. Oh no, oh, let's go for it. Let's do a puddle. Why not? 
I have no idea. So obviously a smaller puddle there, a bigger puddle there, and then you, the big daddy, I feel like Goldilocks and the three bears, you can have a bigger puddle again. All right, so there's a little bit of gold left, so I can do another layer if I want to. Um, now what I'll do, I'll do this. So that gold is the glitter gold from Artie Sue. Just put it there so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. Is that still in frame? Nope. Well, that's no good, is it? <laughs> I'll put it there for now anyway so you can see what it is. Oh, there we go. I'll try and keep it in frame. All right. Now, the blue is also by Artie Sue. It is called Electric Blue. That's that one there. So let's do a puddle of Electric Blue. And hopefully that will push the gold out I don't know I'm kind of thinking I probably should have put the gold around the edge <laughs> I'm gonna cut actually let's do that let's put a little bit of gold around the edge because I do want some gold around the edge do that I did want the gold around the edges there and it's all going to mingle together anyway and join up. Tiny bit of gold left. Um, oh, look, there's not much electric blue left. I might as well just use it. There's no point saving it. It's not enough to do another layer. I have kept some clear resin um, in case I... I decide I want to do another layer of something. I've, I've got some of my clear resin left in there. I've got two cups of this turquoise. I think what I'll do now is start doing my little my little puddles. So I've got my cast and craft. It's about mm, it's probably a third of a cup there, and I got three drops of that. So let's do a puddle. I don't normally do this, but I wanted to see if I can get some pretty reactions. Hopefully that's not too much. Okay, then after that one, the, oops, I did it the wrong way, <laughs> the pigment paste. This one is, I'll get the bottle in a minute. I was just hoping that white might do something pretty with the um, electric blue. It's kind of coming this way. I don't know, I, I have got a pop stick under there. Right, now this one, oh, that's the, um, the pigment paste was by Lorez and it's called Turquoise Blue. And now I've just got in this one, I've got some pinata alcohol ink in teal. That's that one. Put some of that in. That's going to push everything out. Hopefully, we'll get to the edges. Hopefully, haven't got to the edges just yet. Okay, so that's that one gone. Now I'm going to put on this gorgeous creature here by Lorez. It is called Turquoise Blue. And we'll put that in the middle. As I said, I've got two cups of this because I really want lots of turquoise in this. I hope I haven't got too much paste in there. It's so hard to know. You know, you can practice on a little coaster, but when it comes to these big guys, you really have no idea. So now I've got, I can do some more because I've run out. So I made up extra of this. I thought I would need it. Um, there's a little bit of gold left in there. Um, what will we do next? Oh, I don't know. What have I got left? Let's do... I haven't got any more gold, but I can mix up more gold. Should we put more gold in? It's hard to hard to tell. Hmm. Um, let's do a little bit more of the... 
Oh, you guys, I'm so indecisive. I don't know what to do next. All right, let's do a little bit of the pigment paste. Just a little bit this time. Not too big a puddle, but bigger than that one. And then you can have a little bit bigger again. And I'm trying to get in the middle. And then we'll go with the white. And obviously you need more because you're bigger. Okay, and now I've got some clear. I'm just gonna, do I want clear yet? Yeah, let's put some clear in. Push that out. Push it all out to the edges. Now I'm looking at the size of what I've got left there and trying to keep them a bit equal. I'm just gonna put some more clear into my cup. So I kind of want darkest around the outside and then going into lighter in the middle. Okay, so now I think I better torch. Let's torch. I'm going to move all these bottles out of the way now. You've seen them. I've told you about them. They're in my way. Okay, let me see, make sure I'm still taping. Yes. Right, I'm going to torch. Get rid of all the little bubbles. Isn't that funny though what the gold does? It sort of comes up to the surface and it's like it's floating. I'm liking these little striation patterns we're getting. Why is it always a hair? Always. Okay, um, now I don't think I want to do any more pigment pastes. Um, I might even make up some more of this turquoise because I, said I really want the turquoise. I've got a tiny bit of gold left. It's really not much point using it, is there? Um, all right, let me pour some more turquoise in. I might need to make up some more, I'm not sure yet. See, this one hasn't got as big a puddle, so it really needs a little bit more. I'm gonna make up a little bit more of the, the turquoise. I don't need very much, so I'm just going to do half a half a spoon. And I've still got some clear resin in here. So we really only need enough to finish this circle puddle because it didn't have as much. And I didn't want to do any more of the blue, the electric blue, because it's. Um, I think it's going to be dark enough. I'd rather have the turquoise. Looking good so far, you guys. Oh, this is this is nerve wracking. I tell you, it's such a lot of resin to waste if it doesn't work. I can see over here on the corner, my goal is already coming up over the edge, which I'm hoping will happen. That's what I wanted to have a little bit of gold poking through. I don't know about this like, squiggles on the top though. Like, why does it do that? I don't know why it does that. I just don't know. All right, that's enough stirring. Now I need to pour this in here because this didn't have quite enough. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot my gold leaf. I forgot my gold leaf. I forgot my gold leaf. Hang on, let me wipe my hands. I'm putting some gold leaf in the center. Look, look at the edges. Look how it does that. It's just weird. Another hair. Okay, let me torch again. 
so I can see bubbles because I've just mixed this one up. Hopefully it will start reacting as well as like these ones have. See how it's all coming back into the middle? And I better get a wriggle on actually because I don't want to ruin my striation patterns. And you're very bubbly. Yes, you are. Now, um, I'm going to keep, keep some clear. That should be enough. Um, that's for my gold, my gold leaf. And I'm going to put the rest of my clear in here. So this is it. This is all I've got. You probably, can you see? You might be able to see. I'm going to get all of that out. That's all I've got left. Get it all in there. I'm going to need every last little drop. I didn't make up enough to totally fill these because I thought just in case I want to do a top coat like with a little bit of extra gold or something, I don't want to fill them all the way. So let's put in some clear. I don't need any more gold. Let's pop in some more clear. Try and get it in the middle, Julie. Still not looking that turquoise see that's the color I want see that in the bottom there that's the color I want in the middle I shouldn't be using all this up I should be saving some <laughs> and I just think I have to poke down some of my um, my gold leaf now let me get my gold leaf out See how the navy takes over? Like it's it's really quite strong. It really is. And I only put a tiny bit on. Just picking up some gold leaf with the end of my wet stick there. Because there's no way I'm gonna be able to pick it up with wet gloves. It's just not going to happen. And try not to let it fall into anywhere it's not supposed to fall. But um, I may well do um, a flood coat over the top tomorrow if I if I end up losing all my gold like I always do. See, it's closing in already. But if you wait until it starts setting up a little bit. Um, before you put your gold in, it kind of doesn't sink, stays on top. But you know me, I'm, I'm too impatient to wait. But I may do a flood coat. So I'm, I'm happy that we've got that pale centre. I am happy. Um, I'm happy that we're getting some gold around the edges. That makes me happy. I love the striations. That makes me happy too. So, I don't know, where's the electric blue? Is it kind of just mixing in with that? It's really hard to know. All right, I'm going to pour some gold into the center of each. I don't like that stuff that floats on the top. I don't know what that is. I really don't know what that is. See, look at that. I wish I could like scoop it off. I don't, I, this is why I think I might do a flood coat. Then I can cover those bits with, yeah, see, like it's just sunk. You can't even see it's in there. So it kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Put a little bit of clear over the top of that, but I think it's just going to flow back into the middle. So I dare say I will be doing a flood coat tomorrow. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I, I don't know how people get a clear a clear center. Maybe I'm using like too much color and not enough clear. Not sure. Anyway, that's all my colors done. 
done and dusted. Now, let me wipe my hands and then I'll torch again. But um, yeah, can you see? Can you see that stuff that's kind of floating on top? I, I don't like that. I'm going to push it all into the middle. I wonder if I could just like scoop it off. It's like it's a, almost like a waste product sitting on top. I'll put it into the middle because that's where I'm going to drill the hole anyway. And then when I do my flood coat tomorrow, I'll cover that up with some gold leaf because you can't see the gold leaf anymore can you it's just it's just gone it's all been covered up so that was pointless so let's torch lots of bubbles in the middle I'm liking those striations I don't want to disrupt them at all. It's funny how I've got more area over there and, and not there. I, I don't know why. Maybe maybe it's got something to do with my table not being level or maybe it's just the way I've poured. I, I don't know. And if there's something in there, try and get it out. Like in the same direction of your striations. Don't go across the side. Oh, I don't know what to do next. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But look at the navy taking over you guys. See, I didn't want that. I just wanted a tiny bit of navy and I wanted a lot of this turquoise. And I had two cups of turquoise. I had half a cup of navy. And it's still going crazy and taking over. Um, I'm going to take it down for a bit of a close-up and then I'm going to cover these babies up so that we don't get any hair or fluff on them. I will come back to you tomorrow. I think that's just a bit of gold, I'll leave that. Um, I'll come back to you tomorrow and I'm gonna do the flood coat with um, some more of that because you know you saw it just sunk. And then we can cover up those little bits. So I um, wonder if I can touch my camera with these gloves on. I don't want to take them off because I have to clean up still. Let me wipe my hands again um, and see if I can take you down. Don't drop your phone in it. Okay, now I have to try and touch the screen and then put it on autofocus. It's hard with gloves on, isn't it? Okay, so I wonder if I'll get those, see I've got the blue popping through on the side there, but not up there. I wonder if it will eventually. Now through the camera it looks more blue in the centre, but it is more turquoise. Oh my gosh, look at those striations, you guys. Haven't got a lot of gold coming through. I was kind of hoping to get more gold. This one's got more gold. Stand over here so the ring lights away. This one's got more gold. It's kind of floating on top. I, I can't get very good shots. Hang on, I'm going to turn off the ring light. I turned the ring light off, but I've still got the overhead light there, which leaves that little white dot there, but I can't help that. I hope the gold comes through on that right hand side as well to balance what's going on on the left there. I can see a tiny little bit coming through but I don't know if it will or not. This one, this one's more, this one's got it all the way around. So it can't be the fact that my table's not straight because this one's got it. This one isn't it weird how I've got had dark on the outside, but then the light's popping through, the light blue. Oh, I don't know, it's just confusing. But I do like that gold, and I do like that turquoise centre. Got gold on the outside and then gold in the middle. I should have put another ring of gold in, maybe next time. 
next time she says <laughs> this was nerve-wracking i don't know if i want to do this again and it used up so much resin look my bottles are nearly half full or uh, half gone already oh my gosh all right i'm going to leave it there um i'll come back tomorrow and uh, do the little flood coat with the gold and uh, we'll see how they've changed this is exciting it's so scary though all right i'll see you tomorrow hey guys i'm back and i'm so excited <laughs> have a look at these babies i wish they weren't pink around the outside but try and get the overall impression there now the gold that i had along the edge it's kind of all gone um let's start with the baby one first have a little look now all the gold that was on the edges has kind of sunk you probably can't see it but there's a little bit of gold there and it was my first time really using the white paste and I think I added a bit too much because it, the colors look a little bit sort of dulled down and pale because of all the white see all this here this is white so anyway we'll see we'll see hey I won't judge it just yet oh they come out really easily <laughs> look at that let's pop right out um, oh I haven't got a glove on better get a glove hang on one sec I'm not prepared I just got home from work yeah, just got home from work and um, I'm just so keen to, to take these out. I was going <laughs> to wait for tomorrow morning, but I can't wait. I've got to do it now. Okay, let's put that one over there. And uh, flood coat looks lovely with the gold on top. Do you remember how it looked without the gold on top? Now through my screen, it does look a lot more blue. When I'm looking at it in real life, it's turquoise. But I don't know, they just look more blue. <clears throat> excuse me more blue through the screen all right let's flip her over and see what we've got oh there's all the gold okay so we wouldn't have it that way but i need to find a gold that's not going to sink it's very sparkly and all but no and there's the navy around the outside but yeah it doesn't doesn't look very nice on the back so that will be the front for sure um, but yeah, I'll have to find a gold that doesn't sink. Does anyone know of a gold that's going to sit on top and not sink? Let's do the next one. The mummy one. Oh, they're just about popping out all by themselves. I guess resin shrinks a little bit as it dries, so they just pop out so easily. Pull that off. It's heavy, that mould. So there we go same thing there's a little bit of gold along the edges there but um not very much you can see the striations they've got quite a lot of white in them so got a little bit of little bit of transparency i'm waving to you <laughs> a little bit of transparency through the center i wish you could see the aqua though the turquoise it just looks blue So anyway, there's that one. When I put them, when I when I set them all up and, and put them outside, you'll see the true colour. I am going to paint the edges. I don't know if you want to see me do it. I don't think you need to see me do it. I've done it that many times. So I'm going to paint the edges with this gold. And then um, I'll set them up. I'll have to drill holes. My husband went back up to the mines this morning. I said, oh, can you leave me your drill and put a six millimetre drill bit on it for me so that I can drill the holes. So... Yes, I'll have a go at that. Well, this is a big daddy. Oh, look at you. Oh, aren't you gorgeous? Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? I do love them. I'm just to be, you know, if I have to be a little bit critical, it's just this white, I guess, that's gone through here. I don't know, maybe you guys would would like it. Um, don't know. But I love the gold on top. It looks very light at the moment. And I guess the back's going to be the same. Yep, there's all the the gold. Never mind. That's okay. We can have, go with the top. Um, so yeah, I will give it a um, the edges a 
thicker. They're quite thick. I don't think I probably needed to use that much resin. I'm gonna, if when I do this again, I'm actually gonna cut down on the amount of resin I use because it's a lot. And if I want to make a lot of these, I can't keep using so much resin with each one. It's just, it's just too expensive. So I don't think they need to be that thick. That's almost a centimeter. All right, enough of my chit chat. There they are. Uh, I'm gonna paint the edges. Um, and then I'll show you the finished product. <laughs> All right, see you soon. I wasn't going to film this, but then I thought I'll just show you what I'm doing here. I've got this sitting on my cake turntable that I use for when I do my spin art. And I've got a couple, a few of these little plastic containers sitting on top and then I can just do that. Um, I think it's just easier if I can turn this, you know, paint the edges, turn this, and then I'll pick it up and then over there behind, I've got these sitting here that I'll, I'll put it down on when, when I've finished painting it. So that's the idea. And I'm just going to dab into the lid. I've got my glove on so that if I do touch the resin, I won't leave any fingerprints. Uh, this just brings the, the cake stand kind of just brings it up a little bit higher for me as well um, and it just makes it so much easier and you can just paint and turn paint and turn <laughs> because it's quite a big area I'm used to using this paintbrush it's quite a hard bristle but it's the only one I've got so I just thought I'll, I'll use that so it goes goes on pretty quick um, if you make a mistake, if you paint somewhere you shouldn't, um, I try to wipe it off just when I did a little bit earlier, I try to wipe it off with just a, a baby wipe, but it didn't work. <laughs> I had to put some alcohol onto it, but maybe some acetate. Just be really careful though, if your resin hasn't quite set, if you rub too hard, you'll actually, um, you know, take the top layer of resin off and leave a dent. So just be careful of that. So that's, that's the edge. I won't do the whole thing, but... Now normally I use this to do the the top edge but let's see what happens if I can do it with the brush. I'm not quite sure how to do this. I don't want to do a thick line. Maybe I can just hmm, I don't know. Maybe put it put the brush along the edge there like that. How's that? Oh that's it's not a very thick line though. I think I need a thicker line than that. Anyway, I'll just persist with it. I'm not quite sure how thick I want it. I don't want it too thick, but I'll just do that. So I'm just using the underside of the brush, putting some paint on it, and then using the underside of that brush just to do the edge. And I should hold it down here rather than on the actual resin. Oops, see, I made a mistake there. It's a bit of a blob. You could take it off straight away, but if you leave it on any longer, you're going to have to have some alcohol or yeah, acetate to, to take it off. It's a little bit tricky. I haven't done this with the paintbrush before, so still learning. There's a tiny little rim on, on here and I'm getting my paintbrush just on the inside of that rim and that seems to be working. How's that looking? Trial and error really. Don't want it too thick. Oh, I think it's working. Around we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. This is fun. I think I'm doing okay. So anyway, there we go. Um, I'll finish it off. And then I'll, I'll do my little video for you and show you what they look like together. You don't want to see me drill holes, do you? No. <laughs> I'm just going to 
measure the center and put a little hole in the center. All right, I might, you never know, I might, I might let you watch me do it for the first time. I've never done it before, so don't laugh at me. All right, I'll see you soon, either way. Wish me luck. Morning, everyone. Got you outside on my deck. It's a very sunny morning, although it's a cold, chilly winter's morning here in Queensland, Australia. Now, I've got my three cake stand trays there. Um, I'm going to work out where the center is. I'm just going to use this little ruler. I've got my marker. So, bear with me. All right, so that is, if I go 20, half of that is 10. I'm just going to put a little dot there. And then the other way. Where's my dot? Halfway is there. It's a bit tricky, but <laughs> I don't know if this is the correct way of doing it. I have no idea. I'm just going to put a few dots on and then I can... I'm sure if it's half a centimetre, uh, like half a centimetre out, it's not going to matter. I'm sure there is a better way of doing this, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, that, there's a few little dots there, so that's probably going to be, I think, roughly where my hole is going to be. No, but see, that one's there. I'm just going to do it about there, I think. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right, let's move these out of the way. I'll do those later. I think that's roughly where it's going to be. I've got my drill. Hubby left it for me before he went away. So I'm going to have a go at it. I don't even know how to turn it on. Oh, it's on already. Okay, cool. So these are the, the set that I bought to go with it. Here's my dogs. Now this little end here is a five millimeter and my drill bit is a, a six millimeter. So I have no idea if I should be using the same size drill bit, but I don't want it to be too tight. So I've gone up one size. All right, and I've got a board here um, so that I can drill into it and not into my table. So wish me luck. I'm just gonna go there. Oh, this is scary. Oh, oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I wasn't sure if it was going to like slide. Oh, look at all that. Look at my resin coming out. Am I through? Oh, lots of little curly bits. I don't know if I'm through or not. I'll go a little bit more. I'm just pressing very lightly. Oh, more curly bits. Am I through? Oh, no, I'm not through yet. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> I guess until no more curly bits come out. I'll go a little bit faster. Oh, okay. We're through. <laughs> ah, now what? I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. See, this is why I should just stick to nursing and painting. I'm no good with tools. But look, I made a hole. All right, now let's see if it fits. So this is gonna be, that'll be the top one that sits like that. So this one will come underneath, poke through. Oh, wow, oh, I'm glad I did the six mil, you guys. So that'll go there like that. And then this will go onto that. But I have got some little washers and things that I've got to use, they're in here. So, have a look. I don't know what that one's for. Actually, I think that's I think that goes on, on the bottom and that goes on the bottom as well underneath and then the resin goes on top and then these go on top. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay that means there's one on the bottom and one on the top. 
that makes sense, I think. Okay, so let's do that. And then that would go in there. And then I think there's another one that would sit on top like that. And then that one should just sit there. So it's got a, one of those little rubber things on each side. Woohoo! Look, you guys, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So about all the shadows and things, but it's a bright light today. All right, there we go. I've done one. I'll put it over there. Now I'm just going to mark the others where the center is so that I don't bore you. I'll be, I'll be back. Right, oh, here I go with the second one. I've got my little dot there. I'll try and hold it as straight as I can and hang on to this. A little bit more confident this time. I'll go a bit faster. <laughs> and I'll stop once it pulls back and I know I'm right through, hey. Oh, like that. All right. Ah, look at that. I did it. I'm getting better, you guys. All right, that's that one done. And the big daddy. Oops, I better just clean that off. Okay, I'm gonna have to Google how to make a, you know, how to find a center because it was a bit tricky going, measuring it all the way around. It's got to be a way. Maybe I'll make like a template because I'll be doing these again. So if I make a template out of paper, then I can just pop the paper down and um, I'll know where my middle is. So I'll work on doing templates. Oh, did it, did it, did it, did it. All right, let me just clean this up. Where's my tissue? Those of you that, you know, know how to do this, <laughs> feel free to fast forward. But I just thought I'll show the whole process rather than stopping and starting and stopping and starting. Okay, so now I think this is what you do on the bottom. It's got the screw and then the metal washer and then that little rubber thing. So I think that goes underneath. Uh, I didn't take into consideration that that might be thicker. Oh no, it's okay. Phew, it's okay. <clears throat> now, that is obviously going to lift my last um, tray up off the table, isn't it? So I thought I'd put some of these bumpers on. And hopefully that will just stop it from, you know, doing this. <clears throat> it might wobble because that's going to be sticking up in the middle. Do you reckon? That's a good idea, isn't it? Just peel those off. I'll put these on my coaster as well. I think I'll just do... Actually, I might need some more. Let's do... Normally on the coasters I do... Um, four. But this is bigger, so... I'm going to put a few more on. Otherwise, it's going to wobble, I'm sure of it, because of that centre. And we don't want that. All right, so that's them there. I just buy them from eBay, just on a piece of paper. Um, silicon bumpers. All right, so that sits like that. Yeah, that'll stop it wobbling too much. All right, now the next thing, I think I need to put one of those on. That's not going to give me much room. These I got from eBay as well. I, I'm an eBay shopper. I don't know if this is going to have enough space. Oh, see, I made it quite thick. I'm going to have to have to take that. I'm have to take one of these um, <coughs> washers off. I think I poured my my resin too thick. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to take off this white one. I'm still learning, but I definitely don't want to pour my resin this thick again because it was a lot of resin. Like, yeah, it's a lot to use, and I don't think we need to have it that thick. So I've taken the white one off the bottom, and that should give me enough room to screw that in. Yes, it does. I'm just holding the bottom there, but try and stop it from moving. All right, so that's that one. Look, it's working. Now the next one, let me just dust him off because he's got some resin swirly bits on him. 
Okay, um, now I've got two more of these guys left. So one there to support the back. That goes there. Has this one got one? Yeah, that, that one's already got one. So that there. Another little white one on top. Oh, I need to zoom you out now, don't I? I can hear the birds in the background. <laughs> All right, now here we go. Put that on. Hang on. I still, you still can't see. Let me let me zoom you right out. That's my backyard. Well, my lower deck anyway. All right. Can you see now? Can we see? Can we see? Only just. All right. Let's screw this one on. I'm going to hold on to that one. I'll hold on to the the bottom. Oops, now I'm just, I'm just twirling, hang on. I think I need someone to hold one for me while I hold, do the other one. <laughs> oh no, it's working. I'll twist that way and then I'll twist this one the opposite way. Seems I haven't got anyone to hold it for me. Oh no, look, just have to turn the top. I have no idea, you guys. I have no idea. <laughs> it was turning.